Today, India is bustling with many infrastructure developments. In order to bring them to life, they are being co-created by the central government and private entities. This collaboration is called Public-Private Partnership. What is Public-Private Partnership? Back in 2011, the Dalden Congress-led central government defined PPP as a partnership between a government-owned entity and a private sector entity to develop public assets or services via investments, expertise and management led by the private company for a specific time frame. Why does India need public-private partnership? In India, whenever any project is conceived, the Public Works Department normally gets the task of going ahead with its development and execution. However, the reason PPP is a must is because the PWD lacks the expertise and the understanding of the modern technologies and planning required to execute the project. Other factors include lack of efficiency in government bodies, over-budgeting, corruption and lack of accountability, which ultimately affects the developmental plans of the country. Where and when did the PPP model begin? These problems are not specifically only applicable to India, but several countries across the globe. And due to this, in the 1990s, the United Kingdom first adopted this model. It turned out to be a huge success. When did it come to India? Seeing the results achieved in the United Kingdom, India decided to go ahead with the PPP model. It began by 2004 and the Indian state of Gujarat was the first to implement it for developing infrastructure projects. PPP includes a proper layout of the risk involved between the private sector and public entity. The private entity gets payments and incentives based on its performance, which has to be in accordance with the vision of the government. A failure to execute the project in time results in the company facing a heavy loss and not getting the contract to do any such projects in future. Currently, there are nearly a thousand PPP projects in several stages of development across India. PPP projects include railways, water, health, roadways, electricity and more. Types of PPP User-free based BOT model Performance-based management or maintenance contracts Modified design-built contract How PPP works In India, it is the finance ministry that has centralized the coordination of PPPs within its own Department of Economic Affairs, PPP cell. Nine years ago, guidelines were published by the DEA based on which PPP projects are ideated and approved. This ensures that the PPP process is streamlined and the regulations surrounding it remain strong. It also helps speed up the approval process of PPP projects and the acts as a catalyst for private companies to dip their hands into the projects. One of the primary duties of the Public-Private Partnership Appraisal Committee is appraisal of PPP projects to the central government. Another important step taken by the government was the Viability Gap Funding Scheme. This scheme aids in the promotion of sustainability of the projects and it also gives financial aid to the projects. This capital grant is provided when the project's construction begins and the amount to around 20% of the project's budget. The other significant bodies set up by the central government include the India Infrastructure Finance Company Limited in 2006 and India Infrastructure Project Development Fund in 2007. The former provides long-term debt for financing transportation, energy, water, sanitation, communication, social and commercial infrastructure where the latter aids the finance, the cost incurred towards development of PPP projects, including the capital to be provided to transaction advisors and compromises 75% of the project development costing. PPP Decision Process The PPP cell has produced a series of guidance papers and a PPP toolkit to support project presentation and decision-making processes. The objective is to help improve decision-making for infrastructure, PPPs in India and to improve the quality of the PPPs that are developed. The toolkit has been designed with a focus on helping design-making at the central, state and municipal levels. Pros of a PPP a very well-structured public resources management is ensured, excellent quality expertise and timely completion of the projects in most cases, no imposing of unforeseen public sector's additional costs, 
the private company gets long term fees for the project's execution private sector brings more experience and the latest modern technology to the table risk management expenditures are cut down significantly ample job opportunities are created a private company profits immensely in a long run for example if a develops a metro under ppp a only will get its maintenance as well as service providing contract cons of ppp higher costs incurred by the government due to bidding development and ongoing costs of current projects private companies don't give a service that isn't detailed in the ppp contract hence lack of such outlines may result in average outputs the government bears the majority of the funding responsibility if a private player takes up a ppp project during the rule of political party a but there is a change in the government and party b comes to power the particular project may go down the drain and it ends up becoming a huge financial loss for both parties involved In India there have been numerous cases of the transfer of civil servants to the private sector during the making of PPP projects poorly drafted contracts a deficiency in understanding the contracts inadequate resources and a dearth of managerial experience hamper the quality of projects there have also been many instances of breaches in the contract and successful attempts at finalizing a proper team almost zero performance measures corruption and heavy political interference Lastly the biggest con is renegotiation of the PPP projects because they are long term in nature and complex some of the noteworthy PPP projects in India are Mundra Ultra Mega Power Plant 2008 Sasan Ultra Mega Power Plant 2009 Jindal Tamnar Power Plant Phase 1 and 2 2007 Mundra Thermal Power Project Electricity 2006 Krishna Patnam Ultra Mega Power Plant 2010 LNT Hyderabad Metro Rail Private Limited 2011 KSK Mahanadi Power Co Limited 2010 GMR Kishangarh Udaipur Ahmedabad Express Limited 2012 Mumbai Metro 2014 Bengaluru Kempe Govra International Airport Expansion Phase 2 2019 Hapur Bypass on NH9 between Hapur to Muradabad Section 2019 Hyderabad International Airport Expansion 2019 Delhi Indira Gandhi International Airport Expansion 2019 Six laning of section Nidagatta Mysore part of NH275 2019 Six laning of Bengaluru Nidagatta section part of NH275 2019 Kakinara Gateway Port 2019 Till date dollar 273402 million has been invested in india's ppp projects 1906 ppp projects have been completed so far while the ppp idea has its pros and cons it cannot be denied that ppp projects are one of the best ways to ensure the development of infrastructure in a country it helps maintain a decent balance between the public and private entities more updates friends and insights by reality nxt do not forget to share like and subscribe reality nxt